I was I was told never to say bad things about myself, because it, you know the, 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 I'm always credited as the one eyebrow actor, uh, which is not true. I got two, <laughs> uh, and, and, and I was told you mustn't you know because <laughs> I say I it was I who said that yes. And yes. so yes. What, what my agent you? said, stop saying these <laughs> things about yourself. You've got to start saying, uh, well, I tried saying I was good. And unfortunately, I wasn't very good at saying I was good. So I thought it's much better to go <laughs> take, the piss, humble, take the piss out of yourself. It's much better. No, David Niven, uh, <laughs> who was a great chum, as you know from the book, mm. we were, he, he was in France, I was in Hollywood. I was doing a film called um, Sherlock Holmes in New York. Patrick McNee came in one day with a copy of the uh, Daily Mail and an article by Linda Lee Potter mm. in which she was reporting on apparently something Olivia and, uh, and Brando not signing autographs or not having to pose for pictures. And Binky Beaumont, Hugh Beaumont, who was the head of HM Tenet, said, you know, these are artists who give their all to the theatre. Why should they do anything off stage? And Linda Lee Potter wrote, the only two actors who make the profession at all bearable because of their self-deprecating humor are David Niven and Roger Moore. So I, <laughs> I said, Christ, I'm going to send this to Niven. Uh, and the same day in the post when I got home from the studio, there was the clipping from Niv. Niv. He'd sent it to me and across the top he wrote, the post to be a <laughs> <laughs> So there you are.